Hello everyone, welcome to another Art with Mr. Hadley and Visiting Artist video today. Today's art lesson is called Make an Art Journal with Visiting Artist Miss Brosnan. All of you should have received a bag that looks something similar to this. It's a brown bag with the word art on it. If you flip this little paper up like this, it says the word art. You flip this paper down. Uh, this paper does have some information on it. It reads, please read before opening the bag. Most of the materials in the art bag are used to make an art journal. There will be a lesson posted on Schoology titled Make an Art Journal in the coming weeks, like this week. Follow along with the lesson by using the materials inside this bag. You won't need to use all the materials, but you can use all the materials in this bag if you would like to for your art journal. If you do not get an art bag, if you don't have one, that's totally fine. You can use materials around your house for this lesson. Uh, maybe I forgot to give you one, and you can send me a message on Schoology saying you don't have one. Or you can talk to your classroom teacher. Maybe they forgot to give it to you. Without any further ado, here is the lesson from Ms. Brosnan. Hi, everyone. It's good to be talking to you again. My name is Ms. Brosnan, and if you go to Stevensburg, you probably already know that. I'm going to be doing a project with you today on Mr. Hadley's channel. Thank you so much, Mr. Hadley, for having me today. So today, I'm going to be leading you through a lesson, and we're going to be making an art journal together. Art journals are something that I use very frequently. They are just journals, books that you use to tell a story, maybe your own story, but you tell that story through your artwork. So it's kind of like a sketchbook. It's a sketchbook that you keep um, on a regular basis. Maybe you use it every day, maybe you use it every week. It's something that documents your story through your artwork. And I'm going to show you a very simple way that we can make our own together. Okay, so before we talk about the materials that we're going to use today, I just wanted to show you an example of what an art journal might look like. So this is one that I've been working on, and it's just a tiny little book. I made a front cover for it, and then on the inside I have all these little pages. I'm still working on it, so some of them are, are blank and not finished yet. But it's just this tiny little book that I can put some pieces of artwork in. This book has a theme. This book is uh, called Birds I See in the City, because I like to look for birds anywhere I am. And so I've just been documenting Kind of like a story of all the birds that I've seen in the city and it's not finished yet but this is the kind of book we're going to make today and watch this when I stretch it all out the pages go like that and we call that an accordion book so we're going to make our art journals in the style of an accordion book today so these are the things that you're going to need to do this project today you're going to need piece of paper that looks like this, and this is just half of a sheet of printer paper. Now, if you have some more paper at home, maybe some bigger paper or longer paper, or you just want to tape two sheets of these together, you can do that and you'll end up with more pages. So for my book here, I used a much longer sheet of paper to get all those pages. So if you want a longer book, you'll just need more paper, but we're going to start with this for today. So just a sheet half sheet of copy paper and you're also going to need two pieces of thicker paper okay so the difference between these two types of paper this one is really flimsy copy paper like you find in the printer and these are thicker pieces of paper like cardstock or bristol board and these are going to be our front and back covers now for your front and back cover if you have construction paper at home that will work too I like to use white because then I get to design the front cover, but anything you have lying around. For this one, I used very thin cardboard for my cover, and I put a piece of paper, a piece of white paper on so that I could write the title. Even if you have um, some decorative paper at home, like this with the flowers on it, you can make a book like that also with a nice decorative cover. This is a different kind of book with a binding. We're not going to make that today, but you can still use a nice pretty piece of paper for the cover if you want. Just remember, like always, whenever we're cutting paper at home, please check with your family to make sure all of the paper that you're using is okay for you to cut because you don't want to cut anything important by mistake. It will also probably be helpful to have some scissors today and something that you can use to stick your cover to your book. So either a glue stick, or maybe a roll of tape. Anything that you have access to, both of these will work. 
And then of course, if you'd like to use your art journal, you'll need something to draw with, something to paint with, something to write with. Um, colored pencils work really well on this kind of paper. Some kinds of paints work okay with this paper. This kind of paper doesn't like to get too wet, so maybe nothing like watercolor, but if you have colored pencils or markers or crayons, that will work fine. Okay, so the first step that we're going to need to go through to make our art journal is we're going to need to turn this into something that looks like this. Now this is two sheets taped together, so if you have extra paper, you can make more pages like this, but we're going to need to fold our sheet of printer paper like an accordion. And here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to take the end and we're going to decide about how big we want our pages to be. That looks about right. And make a fold right there. Now I'm going to flip it around and fold it the same way. Make the pages the same size. And I keep going like that until I get to the end of that paper. And if you have a little bit of extra on the end, that's okay. If you have more extra paper on the end, but it's not quite big enough to make another page, I find it easiest to use my scissors and cut that right off. Okay, so now we've made the inside pages for our accordion book for our art journal. And like I said, if you want more pages, you can do that twice and just tape them together to make a longer book like that. You can make your book as long as you want. It just depends on how much paper you want to use. Okay, so now that we have the pages for our art journal, we are going to attach our front and back covers. So here's my thicker paper, and do you see the difference? This one's thicker, it doesn't bend as easily. So we're going to use either our tape or our glue to stick on the front and back cover, just like that, okay? So for the front, I'll use a glue stick, and then maybe for the back, I'll use some tape just to show you the difference. stick it down just to make sure it attaches. Okay, and that's our front cover. And now I'll do the back with some regular scotch tape. Let's see what I'll do is I'll make a roll out of my tape, make a loop just like that. And maybe I'll do I'll do one at the top and then in the middle and then on the bottom. This is ready to go on to the back of our art journal. Okay, and there is our finished but empty art journal. You can see there are some pages inside. Mine only has four pages, one, two, three, four. But if you want, you can add more pages to yours. So there are a lot of different things that you can use your art journal for. You can just use it as a regular sketchbook. You can open it every day or whenever you feel like it and add some drawings to your art journal. Um, you can make a really nice cover for it. You can decorate the front and back covers with really anything you want to use. You can use paint or colored pencil, marker. You can even use collaged paper. I like to do that a lot. But whatever goes on the inside is totally up to you. You can write a little story. If you like comic books or graphic novels, you can write a little story in your art journal. One of the things that I like to do is I like to make little, little accordion books 
to tell the story of a walk that I took. So I live in the city now, I live in Portland, and sometimes I'll take walks through the city, and on every page I will put a drawing of something that I saw on my walk. And then for the, for the title of the journal, sometimes I'll just write the name of the place that I went on a walk to. So that's a way that you can use these little art journals, but really it's for anything you choose. Okay, so I hope everyone is able to find something interesting that they can put into their art journal, some interesting way of using it. And as always, I'm sure Mr. Hadley would be delighted if you shared pictures of your art journal with him. And if you go to Stevensbrook, I will see you in 2021 because I frequently sub at Stevensbrook. So I'll be seeing you soon, hopefully. Thank you so much for following along with that lesson. And thank you to Ms. Brosnan for sharing that art lesson with us. Here's the start of my art journal here. I don't have anything drawn in it yet or written in it just quite yet, but I do have some ideas. Please remember to share your art journals with me on Schoology. Remember, if you didn't receive the materials and you don't have the materials at home, you can send me a message on Schoology to let me know and I will get you those materials. All right. Thanks so much for watching and following along. Bye.